Welcome back to WolfMix 101. Again, presuming that you already know how to set up DMX fixtures as in addressing them. If not, then I did a series a while back called DMX 101. Link will be in the description and that will show you exactly how to address fixtures, work out DMX addresses and go from there. We're going to jump into the next lesson, which is a little further into adding fixtures. If you find that on your WolfMix box that there isn't the fixtures that you're looking for, this is how to put them in. So we'll look at the computer for this one. This is the only time really that you'll need a computer with the WolfMix W1 and that is with the Wolf Tools. Wolf Tools is an app that works alongside it and it allows you to do things like this. We'll work our way Wolf through Wolf Tools explaining other things in other lessons. But this one we're looking at fixtures. So if we click on the fixtures list, here you've got a list of the fixtures that are available at the moment. And here is, you can see the WolfMix controller, what's actually already loaded into your box. So what we'll do is we'll look through here and I know there isn't a certain Chevet fixture on there. So we look through for Chevet drop the menu down, it takes it a couple of seconds to have a look at the WolfMix controller to see what's already on there and these that are highlighted aren't on there at the moment so what we're looking for is the 205, the 305 IRC roller which I know isn't on there here we go, it's the Intimidator 305 IRC. So if we want to add that to the Wolf Mix box, what we do is you go to the little arrow here, you click on it, it says, Do you want this to add? And you confirm, and blink, it updates your Wolf Mix box, and that's it. The fixture you'll then find, if I drop down the Chevet menu, it's added it on there, which is absolutely what we're looking for. There you go, easy as that, adding fixtures to your Wolf Mix box.